pals, coming up this week on Go With The Heat, Bill Collins guest stars as a con man who picks the wrong mark in the episode, Phil the Shill. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from December 8th to December 14th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on December 12th, Aero Air Flight 1285 crashed shortly after takeoff in Gander, Newfoundland. The international charter flight was carrying U.S. troops by way of Cairo to their home base in Fort Campbell, Kentucky. The crash killed all 238 on board, including eight crew members. Then, in a story that's close to home for me as a resident of the Phoenix area, on December 12th, a storm brought three inches of snow to the Phoenix metro, proving that occasionally, hell does freeze over. In music, still at the top of the Hot 100 is Broken Wings by Mr. Mister. Peaking at number two on the list is Eddie Murphy's single, Party All the Time. From the album, How Could It Be, the song is about a woman who likes to go out dancing and flirt with other men, even though her boyfriend buys her expensive things. Written and produced by Rick James, the song is a forgotten classic. In movies, Rocky IV still sits at the throne of the top of the box office. I'd love to talk more about this movie, but I'll move along to the cult classic Clue. Based on the Hasbro board game, the film has a fantastic ensemble cast, including Tim Curry, Christopher Lloyd, and Eileen Brennan. The film included three different endings where viewers could see a different ending depending on the theater they attended. The film has acquired quite the nerd cult following since and is worth your watch. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.